Zebra Herd, welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. In the last episode, we made our way through Superstar Road and 100% completed all the game with all the star coins, but that doesn't mean that we're done with everything. First off, we need to go back through the game again and get everything done with the Nabbit Chases. In every world, there's at least one Nabbit Chase, except for Superstar Road, I'm pretty sure. Whoa, so here we go. We're gonna be making our way through each world and trying to get each one done, and then we'll be checking out a myriad of other things throughout today's episode as well, but this is the most important thing because I still think getting all the Nabbit Chases will give us another star on our profile. So let's get started with this one and seeing how we haven't done a Nabbit Chase before, this will be pretty fun. Um, with Nabbit Chases, I think the whole idea is that we just have to chase Nabbit, we gotta catch him. So we have 100 seconds to do so. It might be a little bit more difficult when we don't have any power-ups, but we don't really have the time to worry about it now. We gotta go, 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 and try to just catch up to him and boom, got him, the moment you just, Touch him, you caught Nabbit. So there, that's actually a really good time. Nine seconds, you got my stuff back. Thanks a million, here, take this, you've earned it. And it should come in handy when you're in a tough spot. It is, oh cool, the P acorn, which we haven't seen too much. Um, I don't really know what it does in this game, so maybe we can check that out at some point in today's episode. That'll be cool. But now that we've done that, we're already making some good progress. We have to move to the second world of the game and try to find ourselves Nabbit there. Go ahead and grab that. That'll be another acorn for us. I'll probably equip that before we take on Nabbit number two. And we might actually, I might have to like play through a level real fast to actually have him pop up. I'm not really sure at the moment. We'll find out together. We'll look around for him. Nabbit, where are you? Do we have any stars so we can walk through this without them scathing us? I guess we don't. Mm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to dodge them or something. Yeah, I don't see him around at the moment. Let's see how lucky I can get with this. Come on, lay me alone. Oh, nice, I got that. <laughs> That'll go into my inventory. Okay, I gotcha. And then keep moving. That's good. I have to take on this Goomba, don't I? Oh, no, no, look at me, yeah! Puzzle solving master. So it looks like Nabbit's not around at the moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and just play a level real fast and see if he shows up. Oh, there he is, okay. So all I had to do was die a couple times and he showed back up. So there we go, there's Nabbit, he's hopping into that level, so let's catch up to him. But I will equip that P because I'm guessing we're gonna get another one for these. So we might as well try this now and see what it does. Pretty cool looking power up though, I like it. So Blooming Lakitu is heading into this one and trying to catch Nabbit. We did really well with the first level, so I can only hope we can do the same with this one. And go for it. So yeah, let's try, like what happens here? I don't know, like how is that any different? <laughs> Oh, maybe I could do it more than once? Oh, I can. I'm losing Nabbit right now. What? I'm getting stuck on something up there. Um, Come on, Nabbit. Get back here. This one's, oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> a lot tougher because there's a lack of two chasing us as well. Come on, come on, come on. Almost. Gotcha. Nice stuff. That one took a lot longer, but I was also sort of fooling around for a little bit of it. All right, so we got, our st got his stuff back, and that's gonna give us another one. So, yeah, I'm not really too worried about losing it because of that. So we just basically gotta go to each world and die a couple of times. And once we do that, he should pop up in that world. So we're just gonna do all that in order and hopefully everything will turn out okay with that. I think it will, so I'm not too worried. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next world, which was actually the, the world we tackled was Sparkling Wonder. So we're gonna do that one and I'll be right back. All right, so now it's way over there, which is sort of kind of a pain because I gotta go and dodge a bunch of stuff, but I think we'll make it work. Hopefully. Of course, me dying a couple times means I don't have my power-ups right now, so I'm gonna have to be careful. And this really shouldn't be too bad to time, as long as I'm not bad at timing things, which sometimes I can be. But let's find out, there we go, we did it. And that's all we need to do, so let me go ahead and grab, I'm just gonna grab the mushroom. It really should be all I need for this, so we'll try that out and go on in. Okay, Urchin Shoals. And then after this, we still have much more to do after the Nabbit levels. We went to check out that secret island and stuff like that. And there are a couple more game modes, which I don't know if I want to save those for their own episodes, because apparently they're quite in depth. Okay, Mr. Urchin, I would like it if you moved. Okay, this is not good. Um, I can't even get back out. Is it even, what the heck? <laughs> can I try, can I get a redo for that one? Because that one was sort of lame. Because I couldn't even get back up. I was like stuck down there. Is he gonna leave? Please don't tell me he leaves. Okay, thank goodness he doesn't leave. Let's pretend that didn't happen, okay? Just pretend that didn't happen, get back into it, and hopefully those urchins won't get in my way this time. All right, yeah, he's he's so good at taunting us. And then off he goes. So I can't really do anything when, when it does that. I just have to wait for it. I feel like the levels are a little different than they were originally. I mean, I might be wrong with that, but I feel like they're just, I don't know. Yeah, I feel, maybe I'm wrong with that. Okay, woo. Didn't even mean to make that jump. Oh, we can't go into that little secret area. So yeah, there is some things. Change, come on! You couldn't have landed on that? 
Mario. Okay, so I'm gonna try this with the squirrel suit and never mind. Well, just trying it with normal size Mario. You know, that's nice and humble. I think we'll be able to figure this out, right? What if I hit him with a Koopa shell? I mean, that might be hard to actually pull off, especially when the water cuts me off before it does anything to him. It seems like he does slow down a little bit. Come on, the urchins are a bigger pain for me than they are for him. We caught him in midair though. Nice catch, Mario. Get that nabbit. So there we go. We gotta nab the nabbit. Is that why he's called Nabbit? Because you nab him or because he nabs items? Because that's what I think he has a little sack on him with the little mushroom. Yeah, he steals them from Toad. So I think it might just be both of them. You have, you have to nab the Nabbit because he nabbed items. <laughs> Anyways, we get a second squirrel and that means we can move on to the next world which was way back where um, the Frost Glacier is. It might just be easier to go around like this so and figure that out. So yeah, I'm gonna go die a couple more times and hopefully be able to find Nabbit again in Frosted Glacier. Oh, of course, Nabbit's over there this time. When I'm over here, that's not so helpful. So let's go ahead and just try to go around without this guy messing with me. Perfect, okay, we did it. So let me go ahead and grab a power up again. You know what, since we're in an icy area, let's try the penguin suit. It's it's such a beloved item. At least I think it's beloved, so that's why we're using it. Frosted Glacier 3, Prickly Goombas featuring Nabbit, but I don't have any kind of ice traction problems this time. Let's get to it. Whoa, and there it goes. I'm gonna do that every time, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna use a power be like, oh, I got the advantage now, now, but you better watch it. And then I ruin it immediately. Whoa, nice catch right in between the, the platform and the block there. Wow, we that one was really good as well, only 14 seconds with that one. And we get another one. We're gonna have an inventory full of these things soon enough. It's gonna be great, I guess. That's a word for it. Uh, but let's go ahead now. Now we need to move on to the fifth area, which is the Soda Jungle, which will hopefully work out okay, and die a couple more times, find another Nabbit, and get him. Wait, why is he here? <laughs> Nabbit, you're in the wrong world. <laughs> All right, so I guess it doesn't matter which world you die in, you can just die three times and be able to do that. Okay, interesting. So I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and use this pipe, go to the Rock Candy Mines. He would just skipped over the jungle. Does he not show up in the jungle normally? I don't know, I guess we'll find out sooner or later because I'm pretty sure we need, like if we do all the Nabbit things, we get a star on our profile. So we'll get over there real fast. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. Only one way to find out though, and that's a march over there right now. It was, yep, that one right there. So let's try this out first and foremost because if we die in this, I think two or three times, we end up, he jumps away again and you need to die another three times. It, it's just a mess. So let's get to it. All right, Nabbit, I'm catching you. Ooh. Okay, ooh, that threw me a lot farther than I was expecting. And he knows it too, he's slowing down a little bit. Okay, here we go, here's our chance, here's our chance! Oh no, come on, that was baloney, I just barely missed him. Dang, okay, try that again then. I'm gonna go ahead and get a power up this time. Not the penguin suit, but just something that you know can keep me going for a little bit more. I think if we could just use a P-Switch acorn and just glide right over to him, that might work a little bit better. So let's try that on the walking piranha plants. I got so close to him too. Such a shame. Catch now, but I'll try my best. We're so like glowy or like uh, like shiny with this one. It's almost like we're made of plastic or something. It's weird with this power up. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Here we go, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him right here, yeah! All right, that one wasn't too bad either. Only seven, well I, I said, uh, 14 seconds before it was actually only like six, right? Or 16 seconds, it was only like six. Because it starts at 90, not 100, so that was only seven seconds as well. So it makes some really good time. I don't know if it's possible to make it much better than that. And with that done, I wonder where we're gonna have to go next. I mean, we could just stay where we are and just keep dying and we'll eventually find another Nabbit, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so where is it now? Oh, now you wanna go to the soda jungle. You just wanted a little detour and just at the level we were before. Oh, that's probably why, because it was already on that level. Interesting that it works that way. So we'll go all the way over there and <laughs> deal with that one now. Very odd that it works that way at all, but I mean, I sort of get it. Nabbit can't show up there if you're there. Very weird. So can we ride, the, I mean we could, I just, I don't know. I'll go through all the like extra little shortcuts when we're done with everything else. So for right now, back to the soda jungle, which means only after this one we have two more nabbits left to get. So three more including this one. Right, no, maybe this this one and then, I mean I don't know if there's gonna be one at Peach's Castle. I guess we'll have to wait and see. For now though, jungle of the giants. 
Let's see what ends up happening here, as Mini Mario might be a bit of a bad idea, but definitely an easier level than the Piranha Plants. So, or an Ice level or something like that. So, hopefully everything turns out okay. Probably could have hit him with a Koopa Shell there. I didn't mess it up, of course. Whoa, whoa, we're getting close, but not close enough. There we go, there we go. Jump over that, and then almost got him. Oh, come back here, you little stinker, we got you. That one was a lot more difficult, but we got it, which is all that matters. Okay, so we get another acorn suit for this one. Surprise, surprise. So, we gotta just, I'm gonna stay in the same area. I'm just gonna die a couple more times and see where else it goes. It'll probably go to world seven, but for right now, I'm just gonna figure it out. All right, so where is it now? Yep, world seven, surprise, surprise. So we can go there, we can, Beat up Nab, it should be no problem. It's right at the beginning of the world and everything. So yeah, hop back into this pipe, move two to the right, and we're going to Marangu Clouds. And boom! So where in the world is Mr. Nabbit? He's right here on this little orange donut in the sky. I guess you could call it that. Seesaw Shrooms. Let's see how well we do this one. It might be a bit of a tough one. Seesaw Shrooms, yeah, I guess. Because the platforms will be moving all over the place for us to be rushing through them. Might teach you some cool speed running skills, though. Okay, there we go. Yeah, sliding down it might help a little bit. But it is like based on the weight. I don't know how much Nabbit actually affects that. Be careful of that, dude. Oh, oh, really? Just barely. That stinks. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll use like a Tanuki suit. Not a Tanuki. You know what it is. You know. I've, I've done this so many times, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And let's get back into there. Hopefully this time. It works a little bit better. Okay, catching Nabbit. Go. Very good, very good, very good. And then I can jump off those blocks and at least have like a good height advantage on him, which will hopefully help me just get to him. Oh no, okay, at least I, I survived. I survived, I survived, I said. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, come on, yeah, he got sort of caught up there in the traffic, very nice. So there we go, if there is one in Peach's Castle, that means that we just caught the second to last Nabbit. Let's find out together when we hop out of this level. Come on now, what's gonna happen? Uh, see Nabbit. Oh no, that was it, awesome stuff. You've caught every Nabbit in every world. I don't know about every world, there's still two other worlds we didn't, but that's fine with me. A little bit less work we have to worry about. You've completed, you've completely cleared story mode. Amazing, a fifth star has been added to your file. You can now enter the toad houses all you like. So that's pretty cool. So no matter how many times we enter the, the toad houses, we can re-enter them and get more power-ups and stuff. But yeah, with that done, I mean, there really isn't too much more left to do in this main area, but there is one last thing that I honestly don't know what it is. I, I don't know if I've ever seen it before, but if we go into the pipe one more time, we can go to Peach's Castle, Superstar Road, or Secret Island. What kind of secrets are here? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if that's anything particularly good or not, to be honest with you, but we'll find out. Secret Island, little mushroom hut here. Oh, what is this? Um, read. Oh, look at this, it's little records. Mario you records. Coins, uh, I guess there's a little Nabbit stamp on the top. Coins collected 17,245. Star coins collected all 255 of them. Goomba stomped 52. Items collected 500 exactly. Three up moons collected eight. Times companion lifted zero, because we did this all single player, and same thing with the synchronized ground pounds, zero. And then over here we got the Mario U records. Goal poles reached 110 for all 110 levels. Goals reached with Yoshi, three. Goals reached with Baby Yoshi, nine. One-ups earned at goal 57. Fireworks at goal 54. Times applauded, 304, and Nabbit's caught, seven. Very cool. So we got a little stats page. What about this? New Super Mario Bros. U staff, or U Deluxe staff credits. Interesting. I don't know why they have the credits a second time. Well, that's cool, it's like a little stats area. I do like the idea, but uh, not too much crazy info there. But yeah, if there's one last thing I want to do, well, there's sort of two. I've been wanting to see this, I just haven't yet. We've seen Toadette in the squirrel suit. We haven't seen what she looks like with the penguin suit. So I just wanna see that. Oh, that is so adorable. She's got like a little sweater and everything. Okay, I'm happy now. So yeah, there is still more we could technically check out if we go to the main menu. Uh, there is, 
different, oh, wait, I didn't save. Well, no, I saved because it offered me to save, right? Or not? Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> wait, did that? No, it, it definitely saved before, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> wait, did I just mess everything up? I swear that it prompted me to save before, right? I don't know. Oh, no. Whoopsies, that's bad. I can't believe that. I swear that after I got mad, but it said save. Huh. Well, that sort of stinks. But hey, you guys just saw me do all that, so you know what? It's fine. We'll be okay. As long as I have it on camera, if I if I find out my footage has been messed up, I'll be very upset. But you know, as long as we have it on camera, that's all that really matters to me. But yeah, it would have been five stars there. We would have had everything complete, that's cool. But as you can see, there are still like challenges we could do as any of the characters. There's also Coin Rush. I might actually make dedicated videos to these because there's a lot of them. I don't know if I wanna do all of them, but as you can see, new challenge available. Um, we have Time Attack, Coin Collection, 1UP Rally, Special. So we could try to get some of these done um, in an other, another episode. Let me know if you guys wanna see any of this stuff. Um, but let's go back to the main menu because there's also another bonus thing, but yeah. I would definitely be interesting with it, or interested of it, uh, checking these out and stuff. There's Boost Rush and Coin Battle. So I don't know what bo Boost Rush is. That might be like a, oh, yeah. I don't know. Here we go. Let's find out. Boost Rush, uh, new course pack available. Oh yeah, this is this, this where you would get like paid DLC. Choose the course pack you wanna play. Go collect coins to increase the speed, go for record time. Huh, interesting. So maybe we'll check these out also at some point. But um, yeah, we'll go also take a quick look at the coin rush and maybe we'll do an episode each on these. Let me know your feedback on that. And then over here we have coin battle, which is, uh, well we have the single player coin edit and the two player coin battle. So I won't be able to play this one because I'm only playing on my own. But I guess like you could make your own little coin levels. Yeah, looks like it. That's actually interesting. Yeah, I don't need to edit the courses, but good to know that's something you can do if I had an extra player, maybe we could check that out at some point, but I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon. So with that being said, I think that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's episode. So even though I was a dingus and didn't save, we still 100% completed New Super Mario Bros. E Deluxe. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with the series, because I definitely did. Even though it was tough along the way, it was definitely fun to get it all done. So yeah, stay tuned, because we're not quite done with the action. New Super Luigi U Deluxe is coming up soon, if not already out, so go check that out and have a fun time with that one as well. And whatever else comes out this year, we'll definitely be having a lot of fun with it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Nabbit so now you've watched the end, you're a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.